Andrews, this is Brooklyn and Carlos, the School of Aquaponics. Hey, Brooklyn, how you doing, my man? I'm doing good. How you doing? So what what's going on? Let us know um what's going on and um what is it that you need help with and then we can see we can schedule something to go over there and help you out. Right now it's working, everything's working, um the, the water is going, um it's cleaning, I have a solid uh filter and it's working fine. Mm -hmm. I have my uh, I have my uh, my nursery connected to my main my main system. Okay. So it's cleaning by itself and everything. But oh. uh, right now I'm I have a problems with selecting a pump. I, I wanna make sure that I, I um, get the right pump for, you know, it's the system. Okay. Because right now I have two sun, sun pumps and they're going bad like, like, a month, every month. Okay. I, 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 and they're just burning. So I'm pretty sure they're not, they're not the ones that I need. Okay. We can come over there and check um and check it out and and give you a and help you out and and see what we can provide, what information we can provide to help you out and see if we can, you know, how we can tweak the system and see and just check it to see what's going on and give you any pointers on the improvements that that could be made uh just to help you out. It would be awesome, man. I I really do appreciate it. Yeah, my brother's like, are you guys okay out there? Like, uh, like we're sick or something. Like, yeah. He's like, are you guys alright? Like, yeah. The tone was like, I feel bad for you. Are you guys okay? You need anything? I'm like, man, we're just fine. Yeah, I remember when I used to think like that, man. How do you? I wouldn't think someone was dying, but like, man, how do you survive? Like, what do you do out there, man? Yeah, like, aren't you bored? Are you guys bored? That's the first thing my brother said. Think, yeah, that's what I would think. First thing he said to me when I called, were you bored out there yet? I was like, man, there's not enough time in the day. He's like, what the hell? <laughs> I didn't expect to hear that from you. Yeah, they can't understand that part. It's a different life, man. It's all different. It's the feeling. The feeling, okay. The feeling taking you. The feeling, changed, the environment. It, it and changed everything. you completely. Being out here changed me completely. I started thinking to myself a whole lot more. I started learning. Yeah, that's, learning about yourself a whole lot more. Yeah, that's the truth, man. The city, you're distracted by other things. Oh, and okay, I, mean, that's and I, I didn't even see that coming until I moved out here. The city, you're distracted by a whole bunch of negative stuff, and I don't think people even realize that you're being you're being entertained the whole way. That's true. Like I appreciate Danny way more. Like, dude, let me borrow this tool. It's just a tool, but thanks so much because look, there's no other option. Yeah, that threw me off, man. When I came out, when I came out, that was the one thing that threw me off, and that I really liked. That's probably the only thing. What is that? When the neighbors were coming over to ask me, "Do you need help?" I'm like, what in, what? In yeah. the city people don't do that. Heck no. It's rare that somebody does that. When he's coming over, yeah, you need help with anything, man, I'll help you build, help put up, uh, hold the post for you or whatever, or you need anything else, I'll help I you had. fix some electric, electrical problems that they had. They come over and just ask. You need Happily some tool? to do it. Happy to Happily do it. Happily to do it. And especially coming from black folks that live in in, in the neighborhood where, where we stand now, yeah. that is a rare thing. Hella rare. In the city, that's not happening. I said, man, I like this. Black folks over here in the country, they don't look at you like that. And we don't we don't look at each other with the with the um the mean face. Like we want to do something. It's just like, hey, yeah. what's going on? How you doing? Yeah. You need some help with anything? I'm like, I'm not used to this, man. <laughs> What's up, Andrew? Yes, how you doing? Nice to meet you, man. Looking fresh. Looking fresh. Hey. Good to see you. Good to see you. Nice to meet you. Good. Good. Excited to see your system. Yeah, definitely. How was the trip? It was good. We got to come through all the country, check out everything. Yeah, you guys got a lot of stuff down here. Right? Yes. i never been down here in, in, um, in Polk County. Never? Nah, this is my first time. Yeah, it's really nice. A lot of orange groves and stuff. Yeah, that's yeah, what we're seeing. We're just that. passing it, seeing all yeah, the orange groves. This is my wife, Yolanda. How you doing, Yolanda? Hi, how you doing? She's a uh, Brooklyn. Hi, Very yeah. nice Hi, to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> welcome guys, welcome. Okay, All right. Yeah, nice place. Yeah, man. Thank Heck you. Thank yeah. you. This is what I'm talking about. I we like work, this. We work a lot here, man. Okay, yeah. I guess we spend all the time. All the time. Okay. Oh, um, here we go. Um, electrical business. And on the side, we have uh, all of this um, 
or garden and the aquaponic system. Okay. Okay. Good. Good. Yes, sir. Yeah. Well, You're welcome, man. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> I'm happy to be here, man. I'm oh, definitely. Yeah. Thank you for coming. Thank yeah. you for coming. Thank yeah. you for coming. Yeah. I see the How lights. Long How long you been here? Um, nice. I'm here in this house, one and a half years. I I came from Puerto Rico three years ago. Okay. Um, okay. And then um, I stayed for three months in Orlando. Okay. Oh, in Orlando. Then, okay. Yeah, and then we bought this place. And what, what? We've, been, we've been working here since. What made you come like to the country? You were you in the country in um, Puerto Rico? Uh, no, I used to live in San Juan in the city and like in the concrete <laughs> jungle. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so um, what happened was I've, I've been planning this aquaponics um, business for uh, almost five or six years now. Okay. I studied mechanical engineering back in Puerto Rico. And oh, the okay. second year um, I started to get interested in this um, yeah. um, aquaponics stuff and yeah. um, I started planning since and when I came here it was with that plan. Okay. So this is the house that um, met the budget, met the um, space you. and, and everything that I was looking for. Let's check out the garden right here. What you got what do you guys yeah. got here so far? Uh well we've been um, trying to practice with uh, plants. We okay. have um, squash. Okay, yes. uh, cilantro. Cilantro, uh, it's okay. Getting out of hand because um man time. Time gets so, yeah, so yeah. important, man. Yeah, that's it's true. Just, it's a lot of stuff going on at the same time. So we have lettuce. Yeah, um, this is the second lettuce. batch. Okay. Um, we had uh, two or three beds, and then uh, we just planted this to see how we uh, was gonna do in the in the summertime. Okay. Uh, it's been a hot couple of days, so I have a couple of peas. I still have to make the trellis for them. Okay. Oh, yep. um, this is um, uh, carrots. Oh, yeah. Pulling them right on out. <laughs> yeah. So that's what we do. We just yeah, take the garden yeah. and heck make them yeah. fresh. Heck yeah. Yeah. I like this. So I had um I had the lettuce here. So now I'm doing um, eggplants. Mm -hmm. The tomatoes were doing really good. And um um like two weeks ago they got like a uh, insect or something. Yeah, they came and and they're destroying them. So I'm just gonna rip those off and plant new ones. Plant some new ones. Okay. But I got a pretty good deal. And this is the first year the, the first year that I I finally yes. um um got tomatoes because I've been trying for two two years two years and, oh and I come from Puerto Rico man and there the soil is so rich you oh, can okay. throw a seed and you're and gonna get home. a plant but here with the sand it's really tough yeah yeah the sandy it's soil really that's tough. for sure yeah so I had to make these raised beds yep and, the raised beds and, I see yeah put up some um, some good soil their compost and and now this year is picking up so it's, it's good good so I have jalapenos. I know Carlos. Oh right yeah, now. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we the last yeah. yeah, I love jalapeno. Jalapenos and um, yeah. chili. So you can take some uh, before you guys. Eat. Okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. Even hollering about yeah, these. Yeah, this is a must-have yeah. to cook and eat. <laughs> yeah, really good. Eat jalapeno really with everything. Yeah, yeah. We got some peppers growing. Yeah. What so you got um, over here? Tomatoes, uh, peppers. Pepper. I'm going to uh, oh, here's some year, peppers. Some new ones, and okay, this yeah. is a mango plant it's growing. It's been pretty good. I'm pretty excited okay. about that one. How long has this been growing? Um, two or three months? No, a little bit more. Like four or five months. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now, the winter time, you got to protect this one, huh? Mm hmm. Because I don't yeah. I think it might get too cold for these. Yeah. If what, it, if, huh? Go ahead. Yeah, um, in the winter time, what did really well was the avocado plants. I have four on the back. Okay. And um, they withstand pretty good the, the winter. Okay, we're gonna yeah. have to get some of those too. Some avocado plants. Man, I love yeah, avocado. we're gonna have really to get good. some of those. What do you what do you make them make out of those? The guacamole. Uh, guacamole, and we mm -hmm. just eat them like that, man. We oh, love, okay. We love avocado. This is good. This is amazing, yeah, man. You're out here really. Family garden. Yeah, yeah you guys are really yeah, this is... doing it, man. I like this. This yeah, is man. really good. All right, let's go check out your um. Little pint. Yeah, let's go, go man. check this out, man. Yeah. I lost two hundred fifty. Um, Pieces. What happened? I meant time. So I had it in these small tanks. I had 200 fry mm -hmm. and um, I changed the water Monday and I didn't have the chance to uh, you know, clean it again and Tuesday they were all dead at night. Pretty sad stuff. Man, and It that's was my crazy. birthday. I lost oh, 200. Oh man, come on. <laughs> 200. That was my, um, my gift, man. 200 <laughs> fish dead. Yeah, happy birthday. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Man. Let's go in, man. Let's go Let's in. Go. <laughs> so... Here's, here's three years of my, of my okay. work, man. Okay, yeah. <laughs> trying, to, trying to get something good. Here, man. Um, this is um, a month old. This okay, hard. that's a big thing. Now, one trick that we do, we have our tanks, so we have them a little higher, but we have, and coming in, it's a half inch, and coming out, it's a half inch. And the way, the way we're able to do that is we put that outlet, we make it come lower than this, okay. 
and don't connect it to anything. So we have it connected, we have it coming down and then we have it to a, a two inch pipe yeah, yeah, and it creates a siphon. So, okay. so it'll match all of its flow. It'll match, like that coming out right there, you can get that, you can get a half inch pipe and it'll, make, it'll match the flow coming out because it'll create a suction, a siphon. It won't, this is just going under gravity so it can't accept most of the flow. But if you have this, you have that coming down lower, okay. then okay. it will siphon, the, it, it, it creates a siphon on it. It's not connected to nothing right now, it's open. So it's just going there. Um, okay, I yeah, have, I see. I it's have, not, uh, yeah. it's not, okay, so yeah. So it makes sense, like, it can go lower. Right? Yeah, if you bring it down lower and you run a pipe, then it will siphon. You It'll, think I can stay with the one and a quarter? Yeah, yeah, you, you can do it. Lower. Yeah, of course. Okay. We do half inch. Yeah, we got, I would get all this stuff cleared up first. Yeah. That's the first thing that I would do is, is, is we would ch is change the piping how you ha uh, how I was recommending so you can get these solids out of here because you shouldn't have you shouldn't have you saw you see our tanks on the yeah, video yeah, yeah, yeah. they're really, always really clean. always clean yeah, yeah they're always clean and your setup is similar it's just a few adjustments that I that I would make on it is this all the way on the floor this is all the way on the bottom yeah, of the yeah. tank yeah. I would lift that up higher because okay. ours we have about. A half inch gap. And then once these solids move over here, they all will they all come up.